Hello and welcome to another opportunity to lose weight and to burn fat. Today it's all about how you can get a skinny waist. And you might want to listen to my dad, because my dad is right now in the process of losing weight. And he's also listening to me and to my advice, but he also came up with two very good ideas that I want to share with you. And if you want, you can stick to my dad's one plate policy and leave the pots and pans in the kitchen. These are his two psychological ways of how he can lose weight, and it actually works, believe it or not. At first I thought, huh, that's a weird way of doing it, but if it makes you happy. But then I saw the results, and here's why it works. My dad only always eats one plate. That's it. Even if he's still hungry afterwards, he only sticks to one plate. And most of the time, when you wait a little bit after you finished your meal, then you will slowly and steadily feel full. But if you're in the process of eating, especially when you're eating very fast, and you then finish your plate, and you immediately then take the next plate, then your body doesn't have the time to adjust to the amount of food that you take in your body. And then as a result, your brain doesn't recognize that you're actually already full, and then you won't feel full. That's why you should eat slower and only stick to one plate. And what he also does is that he leaves all the food in the kitchen, like all the pans and the pots that contain the food are in the kitchen. And this simply helps him to not reach to the pan or to the pot to get another plate, which would be very easy if he would put the pots and the pans on the table. But instead, you first have to walk in the kitchen. And the more friction you put between you and the food, the less you will consume. It's really simple psychology. And there's actually been studies about that, where they had a look at people who, for example, put unhealthy food directly on the table or somewhere in the cupboard. And in every study, the people who put it directly on the table were consuming more unhealthy food than the people who put it in the cupboard. Even if it's just one meter more or two meters more away or just one cupboard away, it makes a huge difference. So that's the advice that my dad is following and it can also help you to lose fat and to lose weight. And say yes to exercises that focus on the belly and waist area. Because if you build lean muscle mass in the area where you want to burn fat, your body's ability to burn fat in these areas will be improved. And that's why you can do crunches, you can do sit-ups, and especially one thing that I always tell my clients about, bicycle crunches. They are really effective when it comes to getting a skinny waist. And only say no to unhealthy fats, but not to healthy fats. So many people believe that they can't eat any fat if they want to lose weight and if they want to get a skinny waist. But the only fats that you should stay away from are trans fats. And yes, trans fats are contained in all the delicious food like pizza and pasta and french fries and chocolate cake. These foods are loaded with trans fats. Instead, focus on eating healthy fats. Because like I just said, many people believe that they have to avoid fat, but that's not true. Eating a certain amount of healthy fat is essential for a balanced diet and can actually help you to lose weight. So the fats that you should eat are polyunsaturated fats, for example, omega-3 fatty acids found in salmon or herring or walnuts, and other types of healthy fat, for example, monosaturated fats, which are contained in avocados, nuts, seeds, and soybeans. And these fats can actually help you to prevent the accumulation of belly fat and they can also help you to lose belly fat, which can then lead to a skinnier waist. And get a skinny waist with the help of probiotics. And scientific research proves that certain probiotics may inhibit the absorption of dietary fat, which increases the amount of fat excreted with feces. In other words, your body absorbs fewer calories from the food that you eat. And strong evidence also links obesity to inflammation throughout your body. And by improving the health of your gut lining, probiotics may reduce systematic inflammation and protect against obesity and also other diseases. And in particular, studies have found that certain strains of the lactobacillus family can help you to lose weight and belly fat. And that's exactly where I want to introduce 
the one and only supplement that I recommend to you if you want to get a skinny waist. And if you want to find out more about this supplement, then you can go to loseweightpodcast.com slash video, or you can click on the first link in the description. And when it comes to what I just mentioned, that certain strains of the lactobacillus family have been scientifically proven to help you lose weight and belly fat, I want to mention two of the ingredients of this supplement that I recommend to you. And the first ingredient that I want to mention is lactobacillus casei. And in a study featured in the Journal of Beneficial Microbes, scientists discovered lactobacillus casei contributed to significant decrease in body weight. And the second ingredient I want to mention is lactobacillus plantarium. And researchers discovered that lactobacillus plantarium reduced body weight and fat tissue without reducing caloric intake. And that's why I'm such a big advocate for this supplement. And so many of my clients have incredible results with it. And if you want to find out more about it, you can go to loseweightpodcast.com slash video or click on the first link in the description to watch the video. Or you can also go to loseweightpodcast.com slash letter if you prefer reading about the science behind the supplement. And I want to be 100% honest with you. If you decide to invest in this supplement with one of these two links, I receive a commission for it, but I only recommend it to you because I truly and 100% believe in it, in its scientific evidence, and also in its power to help you to lose weight and to get a skinny waist. And then I invite you to consume both insoluble and soluble fiber. Try to incorporate a wide range of high fiber foods into your diet to get the benefits of both soluble and insoluble fibers. For example, insoluble fiber can be found in food that contains whole wheat, flour, nuts, beans, and green vegetables. And examples for soluble fibers are oatmeal, barley, peas, and beans, and also apples and carrots, for example. I, for example, start my day with oatmeal and lupine flakes, and both oatmeal and lupine flakes are very high in fiber. In fact, lupine flakes are extremely high in fiber and also extremely high in protein. That's why I only add a little bit of lupine flakes. And then I usually put boiling water in it and make porridge. I think it's called porridge. <laughs> I just make some kind of mix of lupine flakes, hot water, and oatmeal. That's how I start my day. That's how I improve my metabolism. And that's how I make sure that my digestion works properly. And then choose your sources of carbohydrates deliberately. Avoid processed carbohydrates like white bread and pasta, pastries and chips and all that stuff that's so delicious, but that's not good if you want to lose weight and if you want to get a skinny waist, because there have been a lot of scientific studies that link bloating to the consumption of white bread and pasta. So instead of eating white bread and pasta, choose slow release carbs, for example, from whole grains or from root vegetables. I, for example, get a lot of my carbohydrates from sweet potatoes and potatoes, and also every now and then from quinoa. And move as much as your sedentary lifestyle allows it. I, for example, work while standing. I move a lot. I don't sit all day long. I have a specific desk that allows me to sit and to also work, or let's say to stand while working and to sit while working. And this allows you to move while you're working. It allows you to not sit all day. And this can help you to get a skinnier waist. And avoid processed food as much as you can. By definition, a processed food is a food item that has had a series of mechanical or chemical operations performed on it to change or preserve it. So processed foods are the foods that typically come in a box or in a bag and that contain a lot of different items on the list of ingredients. And a lot of these items are not that healthy. And also be extra careful when you, for example, buy cheese or bread or yogurt that is marked as low fat or non fat. Because even though these products may contain less fat, they often are packed with extra sugar and empty carbohydrates that offer almost no nutritional value. But now I ask you, what if you still can't say no to processed food every now and then? What if you love pizza and pasta so much that every now and then you have to eat it? Well, it won't be that terrible if you have the right supplement that helps you with your weight loss. And like I just mentioned before, if you want to find out more about the one supplement that I recommend to you, 
you can click on the first link in the description or also on the second link in the description. So if you want to watch the video, go to loseweightpodcast.com slash video. And if you want to read about the science behind this supplement, the science behind these different ingredients, these different probiotics, then you can go to loseweightpodcast.com slash letter.